Our level is certainly coming along, but right now it's still a little bit on the lonely side. So we're now going to add in everything we need to start bringing some bots in to fight the player. Now as we go along, we're just going to be steadily adding layer upon layer of functionality for the bots. We're going to start off with just some underlying architecture, move into a sequence just to control their movement, then we'll go into spawning, then we'll go into whether or not they're shooting at the player. So for starters, let's pop into Kismet. And I'm going to come over here to global variables, and there are several variables I want to set up. The first will be an object list. So let's go to new variable, object, object list. And we're going to name this bots. So use that for the variable name. Now I'm going to create another variable list, or object list, excuse me. And we're going to name this destinations. And yet a third one, so a third object list, which we will call origins. Now each one of these object lists should have a corresponding singular version. So let's make three object variables. So just a regular object, and I'll just paste that in a couple more times. And the first one we will name bot. Notice it's singular, not plural. And the next one we will name destination. And the last one we will name origin. Now we have one more variable that I'd like to go ahead and establish, and that is total bots. And this will be an int value. So we'll go to new variable, int, and this will just be a regular int called total bots and we'll use this to keep track of how many bots we have in our map because in the end we're going to be doing cyclic behavior on our bots we're going to make them run to a destination and they're going to run back and all of the bots in the level are going to keep on uh, repeating this behavior over and over if we have the total of bots then we can feed that into a loop which keeps checking on their behavior so we're going to need that Okay, now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up the sequence that will allow for the bots to move around our map. So I'm going to come, let's, let's start off way up here. So a little bit high up, kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to create a brand new sequence. So make sure you have nothing selected and then right click and choose new sequence, which we're going to call move bot. Now, right off the bat, once we're done creating this, it won't yet do anything. As I mentioned, we're just kind of setting up some basic underlying behavior. Let's jump into this sequence. And the first thing we're going to drop in is a sequence activated event, which we will name move. Now to this, we're going to add a move to actor action. So let's right click, new action, let's come over to AI and choose move to actor. And the out of our activated move will plug in here. Now we're going to add an external variable. So let's right click, new variable, external variable to reach outside the sequence. And we're going to give this a variable label of bot. And we'll plug this into the target. Now I'm going to duplicate that variable and change this variable label to destination. We're going to plug this into destination and we're going to plug it into look at. This means that as the bot is running from one point to the next, they're going to be staring at that point that they're running toward, which will make it possible for the player to sneak in behind them, which is really the only reason we're doing that. Now that's really all we're going to set up at this point. So from here, we could go ahead and jump up to our parent sequence and you can see we've got our move bot already ready to go. Now from here, we can add a remote event. So let's go to event and add in a remote event. Let's give this a name of move bot. And we're going to plug the output into the move input of our new move bot sequence. Now we're going to set up some named variables for some of the objects that we set up over in global variables. So let's right click, go to new variable. 
and just choose a named variable. Now this will be the singular version of bot. So let's just grab bot and plug that into bot. And we're going to grab the singular version of destination and plug that in. So I'm just duplicating my named variable. And we'll set the variable name here to destination. Again, just a reminder, the singular version, not the list version. Our list is actually what's going to be used to call on this uh, setup that we're building here. So what we'll end up doing is using an access object list to grab something out of the list, plug it into the singular version, and then we'll call on the move bot to actually make everything happen. But for now, all I'm going to do is grab all of this stuff we just built, hit C. Let's call this bot movement. And it's kind of up here in the middle of nowhere, but we've still got a lot to do, so we'll go ahead and leave it. And let's close out of Kismet, save the level, and then we'll continue adding in some of the background behavior for our bots when we come back.